Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm going the right way. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just heading towards the arrows. Oh, I think as it so happens that I was going the wrong way. Looks like we've got to follow the um, the waypoint here, the path on the minimap. It's a completely different way to where I was going. The more sensible route of following the stairs and the doors instead of climbing up the wall. Alright, so we need to help the NFA and we need to talk to Lambert about their journeying to the circle of elements. Which one's nearest? Lambert's near nearest, so we're... Uh, Let's speak to him first. Alright, we've got Lambert over here. Damn it. We've seen him before, I think. This guy. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound thrilled about this. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Alright, so let's go now. No reason to wait. Let's go. So it looks like we're leaving again. I meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Sure, those salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. So with this decotion, watch this now. Look, I've got like half health. If I just keep jumping, my health goes back to full. I don't even need to use any food. Or anything, you know? <laughs> it's a bit crazy. Swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow, never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. That makes sense. Time to end this. Alright, so we got some harpies in the way. Blocking our path. I can't hit them. Here we go. I shit need to repair. Nice shot. Color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zeracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? It seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. The castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Okay, so we've arrived. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. So find the boat. In the bushes, you say? So, we'll swim to this land bit here. Yeah, it's only in front of us, it's not actually that far. Alright, so it's here somewhere. It's only going to be in the water, isn't it? Unless it's gone onto land a little bit. There we go. And what have we got here? We've got some drowners. Let's see how there's drowners, like, everywhere, isn't there? They're like a proper species that exists everywhere in the world of the Witcher. It's not like the only existing Vizima, or not Vizima, um, Velen. <laughs> 
Spin attack! Spinny, spinny, spinny! <laughs> so there's one more over here. Come at me. Ben! <laughs> Water hag. Great. Last thing we need. There we go. Water hag. Oh shit, it hit me. They're so hard to dodge them. Dodge! Why has he got his sword away? Where's your sword? You idiot. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's so overpowered. Alright. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. So jump in your boat. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Right, so he wants to drive. Let's get in the boat. I think we've got to sit at the opposite end to make him go. If he sits here, yeah. Sail across the lake with Lambert. So how far are we going? I can't even see the end. Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we picked up a bit of speed there. Right, almost there. There's quite a few enemies below, as you can see in the mini-map. There's a cutscene coming up. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? You're pricklier than Yen. Old Spear Tip's still around. What's Spear Tip? Old Spear Tip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old Spear Tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You Sounds like a ghost. This valley's uninhabited except for us. It's got to be an illusion. Definitely, it's not. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. And um, we should investigate just in case. You're probably right. Let's go to the cave. It sounds like a ghost, like a <laughs> like type noise. So let's just go in the cave. I can't be bothered. You're probably right. Let's go straight to the cave. Finally, something reasonable. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought, that it doesn't sound like a person. So that's probably like, that's an optional thing we could have done there, but I chose to ignore it. So let's go through the cave. He suggested using the cat potion, which allows you to see in the dark, but um, I don't think you need it. It's not super dark. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! You kidding me, fat? He's got abs for days. Two, He's not fat. Three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mm hmm. And the wake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No. I just think before I act. Mind not stomping like that. Relax. 
I slipped. We can go. Why did he suggest using R to blast through the wall when you can climb over it just as easy? Silly. Maybe this one we need to use R. Can we jump over it? Yeah, we can. So we're going to stay as quiet as possible because we don't want to wake this beast. Can't remember what it's lame long tip or something you said it was called. Can't remember what it's called now. Oh, what? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Right, so where are we going? There was a path to take this way, it suggests, on the map. I'm not too sure. Okay, it looks like we can go around this way. And take us across take us across a bridge. Or we can go the quicker way by blasting through it hard. But that will make noise, so we're gonna stay as quiet as possible. Yeah, we jump down now this side. As we could we could have gone that way through the wall. Somewhere. It is quite dark in here now. <laughs> I said before it wasn't that dark, it is quite a bit. But uh place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleep in there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Alright, so we can see something there in the middle. I'm guessing that's the um the beast that lives in here. I think we're looking to go up here, aren't we? There we go, we can go up the side. So we're going through the cave, aren't we? We're actually looking for anything in the cave. Yeah, we're just trying to get out the other end. Yeah, so we avoided a battle there, it looks like. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Trying to impress me? I'd rather be careful. That one. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. This guy's terrible. He thinks he's so funny, but he's just a, he's a bit of a dick. I don't really like him. Is that a point of power over there? Oh, cool. Should draw from it. Gimme, gimme. I'll take any free points. Free ability points. Sweet. Oh, we got some trolls up ahead. Ha. See him shit and run soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Why is he running? Oh, he's going to get back up, isn't he? Which us is too. Walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Trolley Mountain. I seriously hate listening to these guys. Uh, they sound like absolute uh, morons. Does my head in. Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Let us pass or regret it. <laughs> I can't be asked talking to them, so I was gonna try and cut to the chase. Take my advice. You don't wanna mess with us. Trolley advice take Oh really? No. Oh. Trolls advice. And witches takes much stick. Uh enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> Mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Okay, we're not fighting. We're just gonna run. Seek shelter in the- at level 10! We can kill them easy! I'm like level 22 or something. Alright, so we ran away into here. Blast through there. Right, we escaped, it looks like. Oh no, there's three more here. <laughs> News goes no far more. Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come no to Witchesy Castle. Rocks not there. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. Right, right, we talked enough. Let me talk, alright? I, I can't be asked talking. I just want to kill them. Gonna have to agree to disagree. Finally. 
My brain's gonna ooze out of my ears if I have to listen to this bullshit any longer. All right, calcites and dolomites. Who wants to taste some witch's silver? I it say. No should trusty witches. Alright then. Been the, yeah, the level 18 these ones are. You've actually got a lot of health. There you go, one down. Two down. Just got crazy on his ass. Look at this! <laughs> oh, his head came off. That was a massive combo. Alright, let's go. So they were easy. That was easier to kill them than it was to talk to them. Kill talking to them is just so painful for me. A few steps more. And we're there. Ooh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Alright, we made it to the circle of elements. What are we doing here? We we wanna make something for a potion or something, don't we? Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. So high praise coming from you. Soak in it later. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. Alright then, so let's see what this phylactery, phylactery does then, whatever it's called. How did it go? Water, then earth, then air? The torches. So these are torches here? Yep. What's in this bag? No, the bag. Wolfsbane and that. Just alchemy stuff. I put that one out, didn't I? <laughs> all right, phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah. Used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Isn't Axie the mind control one? So useful and dangerous. Axie saved your life. How? Um, how? Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. And made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. <laughs> My God! And um, didn't have to kill them. Yeah, great story. Wow, truly great story, isn't it? Real side splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No, I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. So hate being a witch that badly. We all went through it. Yeah, that one. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Um, I don't care, mate. Sorry. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. 
But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. I don't really care what he's got to say. He's quite boring to me. And I don't know. I just I don't like him. Although he's a witcher, like a brother, if you like, I, I find him quite boring. So have we got the elements in the box now? Is that what we did? Right, back to the fortress. Go. Gonna stay here a bit. So let's go back to the fortress. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Please teleport me there. I can't be bothered walking all the way back. <laughs> a few hours later, yeah, we're back at Kaer Morhen. So all we got to do now is help you enough to fix the megascope. We should also repair as well if we can find a, a blacksmith. But because you can repair with armor, repair kits that you have in your inventory, but it doesn't repair your weapons, and that's the thing that's damaged. So we we'll need to find a blacksmith. Whoa! Oh, damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. <laughs> so the end's trying to fix this megascope, and it seems like she's broke it again. <laughs> You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Why are they all whining so much? It's like, just do the job. Come on, it's like, we got feelings, you know, stop pushing us around. Give us some attention. It's like, don't just do it, will you? Stop complaining. So what do I do? Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. I've got them both done, baby. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. So how do I do this? All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta what? Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. <laughs> Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Yeah, she's got all the looks in the caves, hasn't she? But she's a bit of a pain in the ass, Jennifer. Her personality is not great. So we've got a new quest item. Disturbance. Find the source of the magical thing. Alright guys, we're actually going to end the video here. And we'll continue with this disturbance quest in the next video. Because there's quite a lot of quests to do for this one ugly baby quest. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.